Hi, this is Todd, and today is Saturday, February 22nd, 2015, and I am along the Temple Quarry Trail in St. George, Washington County, Utah. Today, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about finding post-diapause caterpillars, that is, caterpillars that have already spent the winter and will resume feeding to form a chrysalis and emerge into a butterfly of the sagebrush checker spot. The uh, desert subspecies would be Closcini acastus numigani. Whenever you look for what we call post-diapause checker spots, or those who have already overwintered, you want to look for caterpillars either feeding on the plant. Now this plant is Mojave woody aster, aster tortifolia, or xyloriza tortifolia. Oftentimes these uh, caterpillars will be resting on dead stalks or dead leaves. Three of these appear to be fourth in star out of six. And they're resting. Some are resting on the host and some are resting on dead stuff. Here's some much smaller young fourth inning star that looks like it just started feeding. And down here we have a caterpillar that's actually resting on the ground. So they like to rest on uh, either the live stuff or the dead stuff. Okay, if you can uh, place a container underneath the caterpillar so that when it becomes disturbed, you will fall in your container, that's probably the ideal situation. You can't always do that because of uh, other here's one right here right there so when I disturb the and he falls into the container. Here's another Mojave woody aster and actually even though it is the 22nd of February we have a last instar caterpillar. This plant looks a little healthier than other ones probably because it's not in as much direct sunlight. Here it's kind of neat to find a last instar which I believe is sixth. The diapause is thirds and fourths. The caterpillars are a little bit larger. How many caterpillars can you spot on this plant? With my bad eyes, I can see two, and then down below, there's a smaller caterpillar. 